Hey guys, welcome back and let's get started with the row B. And uh, to give a basic overview for uh, row B, uh, how we're going to plan to create it is quite pretty much similar. Like uh, for row A, we had uh, surface coverage up to something here like this. So for this, we used like around five different hair, main hair chunks on each of the sides. So since now we're going a bit uh, to the upper side, uh, and the head around here has a bit more uh, surface area uh, in terms of coverage so we might need to like uh, maybe increase the number of uh, hair songs like for mine I've used like around 11 so it's like uh, pretty much you can do like 11 or 12 uh, that would be fine I guess So the basic process for laying the hair cards is pretty much the same. So I'm bringing the, uh, I want to duplicate this and bring one of these hair chunks, one of these hair cards, and uh, I want to see like from where did I start the laying the hair cards for B. It was uh, somewhere above here, and you can go a little bit lower than this as well, but it's okay as I've done this before and it kind of worked for me so I'm gonna do pretty much the same and uh, like we did before uh, we can like first arrange the hair card a bit and add the loops later if we need to make those bends on each single cards I want this to be moving down a little bit more. And for creating those extra curves, I want to add some more of these loops. Yep, let's work it out with this much at first. And make sure that you're not adding too much of uh, edge loops on the uh, horizontal side because it gets it kind of gets complicated sometimes if we add too much of loops. It gets hard to control. Like I might make the use of one more over here and over here as well. Now what I'm basically trying to do here is uh, trying to create the kind of movement that we're looking for this certain hairstyle. Sometimes we just need to keep moving the vertices and see and keep testing for the better look that we can possibly get. Like keeping the reference at the side is also very important. Now on the hair that I approached before, uh, like for my character, for my portfolio. Uh, in that one, the uh, arrangement of the hair cards for the row B were too much identical, and I kind of felt later that uh, it it could have been done a much better if we if I had like uh, laid the hair cards like uh, really overlapping each other because uh, that's pretty much the hairstyle that I was looking for. It's okay, like uh, the layer C and D really help later for the coverage. 
and hiding out all those identical looks the main thing that I want to show here uh, to you is like you have you basically have the idea like how you can do for the rest of the haircuts uh, like uh, there's here's one and two comes uh, like two comes uh, somewhere around from here and three and four like so on like uh, how I want uh, the main thing that I want to show you here is uh, let me rename this to main see let's group this let's let this be B and this be B001 uh, so I want to show you about the transitional hairs here one so it's pretty much the same that uh, we're again gonna delete the half of the face and uh, also move the UVs uh, to a much simpler and much thinner one and also you might want to uh, redo the UV sometimes because we uh, really drag them out in the main uh, in the main card yeah so it, in, by putting it by putting it in vertical and uh, applying the UV unfold it just tends to uh, unfold on its own this helps in reducing the stretches and like we can get it back again it's better if I do this with the main hair card as well transitional hair cards now what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to create that movement again like this it reaches the bottom part I'm going to try to fray it a little bit like really not too much frayed but a little bit I'm gonna do that again so T face mode, delete the half of it I'm gonna do it in the viewport actually and also let me change the UV We just want to create a bit of volume here, like we did for row A. And don't create, don't worry about these uh, gaps that we have here. It's uh, it's it's good, like if you could do it at the first glance, but uh, you don't have to worry too much on this from right now because we can select the whole chunk later and uh, use the F8 key to be on the vertex mode and make the mass movement again. Now I'm going to do this all and uh, show you how it comes out in the end result. So I'm pretty much done with this one and as you can see for this one I've currently I've used like uh, six uh, 
the one main hair card and six uh, transitional hair cards but like uh, you can go higher than this like uh, maybe seven or eight as per your need and uh, what I love to do here is like you can do this at uh, later also like when you're done with laying out all the hair cards I'd love to spread them a little spread these a little bit so it gives a bit more spread it out volume kind of feel and don't need to worry about these kind of holes like once you start laying out other hair cars these will be totally covered and you won't be able to see any of these and even if you do like you can still make some more edits on the vertices and try to hide them out so this is pretty much the process for uh, laying the hair cars on row B and there's something important uh, that we, I want to show you in row B here is uh, let's press 5 on the keyboard to go to the uh, shaded mode and I want to show you how uh, I actually laid the hair cards for row B it's like if this is your uh, main hair card then these are the transitional hair cards like uh, they're playing with each other to make this uh, sort of uh, V kind of inverted V kind of uh, uh, shape which is the pretty much the volume for the hair card B and this is pretty much the uh, kind of process for laying the hair cards that we want to go uh, higher above for C, D and E as well. Uh, unlike uh, what I did before, I want to show you something which I kind of felt like is not very, uh, is not looking very good. Is the way how I laid the hair cards before they were looking too much identical but uh, I really suggest you to do this uh, a bit more uh, like you don't need to worry to go crazy on this like uh, rather than doing them very straight like this you can try uh, going on to like really if the it's okay even if they like try to overlap with each other this can actually, if done pretty well, then this can actually even help you sell your work even more better. Like you can, you got to feel what I'm trying to say here. So I hope this pretty much explains the process that uh, you can do for row B as well. Like this is just a single strand and like you can do the rest of this. Uh, you can go pretty much as we did in row A before for row B as well and like I mentioned try to go for uh, don't be afraid to go for more uh, crazier chunks like overlapping each other that could make it look the hair even more better okay so I'll see you in row C and D now thank you